Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, uh, GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, we will discuss uh, integrals of powers of cotangents and cosecants. So we have integral of cotangent to the mu, cosecant to the nu, dx, where u is a differentiable function of x. So this is uh, similar to that for evaluating the integral tangent to the mu, second to the nu, dx. So we will use the identity cosecant squared u equals 1 plus cotangent squared u, or that is the same with a cotangent squared u equals cosecant squared u minus 1. So it's used to reduce the original expression into an integrable form. So it also consists of three possible cases. So let us recall the three cases for, for uh, powers of tangent and cotangent. So or for tangent and secant. So... We have case 1, case 1, case 2, and case 3. For case 1, the exponent of tangent is any number, and the exponent of second is even number greater than 2. So for, for cotangent, we just replace tangent with cotangent. So cotangent, any, any exponent, and then second is even number greater than 2. And then for... For case 2, we have tangent is odd number and then second is any number. So therefore, we have cotangent is odd number and then second is any number. For case 3, we have tangent is positive, positive odd or even and then there is no second. So therefore, we have cotangent is any odd, positive odd number or even number and then the exponent of second is 0. So these are the three cases for uh, tangent, powers of tangent and second. So also applicable to cotangent and, uh, I, sorry, this is cosecant. Co, cotangent and cosecant. Okay. Cotangent and cosecant. Okay. So cotangent and cosecant. Okay. So example, I have three examples for each case. So try to answer first a uh, screenshot and try to answer on your own before watching my solution. Okay, so let's start with number 1. So cotangent to the 4th x, cosecant to the 4th x. So we have, we will use uh, case 1. Case 1, the exponent of cosecant to the 4th is even number greater than 2. So to solve this, we need to isolate a factor of cosecant square. So we will break this uh, to the 4th, subtract 2. So this is equal to an integral of cotangent to the 4th x times cosecant square x times another cosecant square x dx. So then we will express this as uh, sum of powers of cotangent because the differential of cotangent is cosecant square. So, so we isolate the cosecant square x. So we will use identity for this term. Right? The identity for cosecant squared x is cosecant squared x, so the identity for that is 1 plus cotangent squared x. So substitute this to, to this uh, cosecant squared x, so therefore we have integral of cotangent to the fourth x times 1 plus cotangent squared x times cosecant squared x dx. And then distribute, so we, therefore we have integral of times 1, so... Uh, we have cotangent to the fourth x at the exponent, cotangent to the fourth times cotangent square. We have cotangent to the sixth x times cosecant square x dx. So it is now in the form integral of u to the n du. So the formula for that is u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So our u here is cotangent x and then the Derivative, du, differential of cotangent x is negative cosecant squared x dx. Since we don't have negative sign here, so therefore we have neutralizing factor of negative 1. Okay, so we will multiply this by negative 1 and then another negative sign here. So therefore it's now in the form u to the ndu. So therefore the answer is negative cotangent to the just add 1 to the exponent 4 and 6. So we have cotangent to the fifth x over 5, and then another negative uh, cotangent to the 6 plus 1, so 7x over 7 plus c, and this is the final answer. Okay, so next number, number 2. 
we have cotangent to the fifth two x cosecant square two x. So first, ah, uh, let's ah uh, convert this to a uh, rational exponent. A square root that is equivalent to raised to one half. Okay, so we have integral of cotangent to the fifth two x times cosecant raised to one half two x dx. So we will use case case two because the exponent of cotangent is add. Add number and exponent of cosecant is any number. So in order to use K2, we will uh we need a factor of cotangent or cosecant x cotangent x. So we will isolate this. Or we have two x, the angle is two x. Okay, so therefore uh subtract one to each uh exponent. So therefore we have subtract one to the pip. So we have cotangent to the fourth two x. Subtract 1 to 1 half. So 1 half minus 1, that is cosecant raised to negative 1 half 2x. And then we have times uh, cosecant 2x cotangent 2x dx. So this is the derivative of this is the derivative of cosecant x. So therefore, we need to express this in terms of cosecant only. So we use identity for cotangent to the 4, 2x. Okay, so cotangent to the 4, 2x, so that's the same to uh, cotangent square 2x and then square. And then uh, identity for cotangent square 2x, so the identity for that is cosecant square 2x minus 1 and then square. And then we will uh, apply the formula for square of binomial. So we have uh, a squared plus 2ab plus b square. So therefore, so this uh, square of the binomial will become a square the first term, cosecant square, so a square, so that is cosecant to the fourth. Cosecant to the fourth, 2x minus twice the product, so we just multiply by 2 and multiply the first and second term, so we have minus 2 cosecant square, 2x, and then square of the last term, so we have positive positive 1. And then, we have times cosecant raised to negative 1 half 2x. And then, times this, cosecant 2x cotangent 2x dx. So, next step is distribute the cosecant raised to negative 1 half. So, to these uh, three terms. 1, 2, and then 3. Okay, so just uh, add the exponent to the fourth minus one half. So four can be written as eight over two. Eight over two. So eight minus one. So that is seven. Or second raised to seven over two. Two x minus two. Two can be written as four over two. So four over two minus one half. So that is three over two. Or second three, uh, raised to three over two. Two x. So for this, I just copy plus cosecant raised to negative one half 2x times cosecant 2x cotangent 2x. So it's now expressed as powers of cosecant. So again, it's in the form u to the n du. So we will use, so the integral of that is u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay, so our u here is, our u is cosecant x. Our du is negative cosecant x, or we have uh, 2x. So our du is cosecant 2x, cotangent 2x, times the derivative of 2x, we have 2dx. So dx, dito natin ilagay yung 2. So we have negative 2dx. So as you can see, we don't have negative 2 here. So therefore, we have neutralizing factor of negative, reciprocal of 2, so that is negative 1 half. So we multiply this by negative one half. Oh, I'm sorry. So we multiply this by by negative two, and then uh, negative one half outside the integral symbol. So it is now in the form u to the n du. So therefore, the answer will be negative uh, one half. Just put the neutralizing factor, and then u to the n du. So Add 1 to 7 over 2. So that will become 9 over 2. So cosecant raised to 9 over 2. 2x over 9 
over 2. And then we have another, uh, we have negative 1 half and then negative here. So we have positive 2 and 1 half. So we can cancel 2 and 1 half. So just add 1 to the exponent. We have cosecant 3 over 2 plus 1. So that is 5 over 2, 2x raised to or over 5 over 2. And then we have plus add 1 to negative 1 half. So that will become positive 1 half. So we have neutralizing factor. So this will become uh, negative. So negative 1 half times add 1. We have cosecant raised to 1 half 2x over 1 half plus c. Then finally, uh, let's just simplify. So we can cancel 1 half and then 9 over 2. The 2 will go up here so we can cancel the 2. Okay, so therefore we have a negative cosecant raised to 9 over 2, 2x over 9. And then for this, so 2 will go up here. So that is positive 2 cosecant raised to 5 over 2, 2x over 5. And then last, we just simply cancel 1 half and 1 half. So we have negative cosecant raised to 1 half, 2x over. So wala na, wala na siya. There's no denominator. So minus cosecant raised to 1 half. 2x and then just add the constant of integration plus c. So this is our final answer for number 2. Okay, so last number, number 3. So this is uh, case 3. There is no cotan, there is no uh, cosecant. So cosecant is 0. So to, to solve this, we simply... Um, Use the, so break this into cotangent to the cotangent square x and then cube x dx. Okay? So then use the identity for cotangent. For cotangent x, so the identity for cotangent x is cosecant square x minus 1 cube dx. So we don't have x here. Okay, so just dx. Okay, so apply the apply the cube of binomial a minus b cube. So the formula for that is a cube minus three a squared b plus three a b squared minus b cube. So apply that. So we have cosecant cube the cosecant square so that is cosecant to, uh, to the 6 x minus 2 square the first term so we have cosecant to the fourth x times 1 okay and then plus uh, this is 3 sorry so plus 3 cosecant square x cosecant square x and then square of 1 so it's, it's still 1 minus cube the last term so we have 1 and then dx Okay, so it's in the form, uh, there is no direct formula for cosecant to the 6, cosecant. So maybe we should try uh, separate this into a cotangent, cotan cotangent to the 4th and then times cotangent square since we don't have direct formula, direct formula for this. So let's try. Let's try another way to, to answer this. Try another way. So try another way. So we will uh, factor this as cotangent to the fourth x times cotangent square x dx. Okay, and then let's use identity for this. So the identity for that is cotangent to the fourth x. So we have cosecant square x minus 1 dx. So let's uh, distribute. So we have cotangent to the fourth x cosecant square x dx minus integral of cotangent to the fourth x dx. So we have direct formula for this. So this is just u to the n du because the derivative of cotangent is 
negative cosecant squared. So we just have neutralizing factor. So just apply integral of u to the n du to this term. Okay? So therefore, we have neutralizing factor of negative 1. So the answer to this first integral is negative cotangent to the pip. Just add 1 to the pip x over 5. And then for this, reapply reapply this or so break this into. So we have minus integral of cotangent square x times another cotangent square x dx. And then apply identity to, to one factor of cotangent square x. So therefore, just copy this. So we have negative cotangent to the fifth x over 5 minus integral of cotangent square x times identity for this is cosecant square x minus 1 dx. So therefore, we have negative cotangent to the fifth x over 5 minus, uh, let's distribute this. So we have integral of cotangent square x times cosecant square x dx. And then we have negative and another negative. So that will become positive integral of cotangent square x and then we have cotangent square x times a uh, negative 1 or so that is positive and then dx. So again, we will use the u to the n du to this term. And then we have direct formula for this. Or we don't have direct formula for this. We have direct formula for integral of cosecant square. So again, we will use identity for this one. Okay, so we have negative cotangent to the fifth x over 5 and then minus so again, u to the NDU. So we have neutralizing factor of negative 1 since our u will be cotangent x and then du will become negative cosecant square x dx. So we have neutralizing factor of negative 1 since there is no negative sign here. Okay, so this negative will become positive. So positive cotangent to the, pit, to the third cube uh, x over 3 plus... So we use identity for this integral of cosecant square x minus 1 dx. Okay, so let's continue. Just rewrite the first two and then we have direct formula for this one. Okay, so we have negative cotangent to the fifth x over 5 plus cotangent cube x over 3 plus integral of cosecant square x dx minus integral of dx. So we have direct formula for this. The answer, the answer to this is negative cotangent x. Negative cotangent x. And then integral of dx is minus minus x plus c. So just rewrite this. Negative cotangent to the fifth x over 5 plus cotangent cube x over 3. So this will be our final answer. So as you can see, we have a pattern in the in the answer we have we always have a pattern. So we look at the exponent cotangent to the fifth x, cotangent cube x and then we have cotangent x. So if you will notice the exponent always uh there's a pattern in the exponent, it differs always uh by by 2. So 5, 3 and then 1. So let's go back to example number 2. So we have 9 over 2, 5 over 2, and then 1 half. So for, the, for this one, they differ by 9 over 2. This is 4.5, and then we have 5 over 2, 2.5, and then 0.5. So there's common difference in the exponent. Okay, so for number 1, so look at the exponent to the pip and then to the 7. Okay, so there's always a different differ by even number. Okay, so that's it. So thank you for watching and I hope you learned something for in this uh, video. So if you have question, you can comment your question in my channel or in my FB group or just DM me in my messenger, RJ Ensenado. So bye-bye and God bless.